Scotland Road by Jeffrey Hatcher. Um, the best way to describe it is uh, history, mystery, and obsession. You can add Titanic as the fourth word if you like, since that's pretty much the story framework for this piece. The next one will be found 25 minutes from now. A man in black silk evening clothes wearing a white life jacket. He will say his name is John Jacob Astor. In essence, it's about a woman who's found on an iceberg in the North Atlantic in our time, who is dressed in the kind of clothing she would be wearing in 1912, uh, and the only word she says is Titanic. The assumption is that she is claiming to be a survivor, and somehow or other, despite the impossibility of the time sequence involved, that she nonetheless was on board that ship. There were no third-class passengers allowed to attend first-class services. This woman was not on the Titanic. My name is Heidi Alsdorf. I'm a senior here at UALR. Please just put that as the program. <laughs> I have just been thrown in, kind of headfirst, into the icy waters of this play. <laughs> I love Snapchat! Oh my god. Can I Snapchat with my mom for a minute? I will never tell my mother what Snapchat is. So there's this mystery, there's this uh, kind of cat and mouse game between me and my counterpart, John, played by Keaton. He is obsessed with who I am and where I came from and this, this famous thing that we all know. I cannot find my ticket. I, I know I have a place. I know I belong on board. They, they have to let me on board. Because I'm, I'm the only one who knows what's going to happen. A gentleman who is himself obsessed with the history and the background of that event and who somehow seems to have wished that he was a part of it uh, manages to get her from Reykjavik to Maine where she and a therapist um, reside with him in a room constructed specifically so that he can investigate, interrogate, and either prove her to be a fraud or, as we learn, um, find reasons why exploring what she knows, the why of what she's done, what she does, will assist him in terms of how he sees himself. No confusions, no mistaking it for the Lusitania or the Andrea Doria. There is no darkness to those eyes. There is no horror, no awe, no love. If you could buy the right to do this, bring her to this place, interrogate her, frighten her, take whatever liberty you want. <laughs> <laughs>